presenting this year at the general session uh, on uh, the link between uh, malocclusion, gingival recession, and uh, airway problems in adult and uh, pediatric patients, and uh, airway problems, uh, specifically obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, so this is a very new topic, and we have a lot of emerging evidence based on the CBCT technology and me medical literature on uh, actually the link uh, between uh, mouse breathing, obstructive sleep apnea, and how it affects uh, skeletal development of the face, and how it affects uh, periodontal development in the patient. So there is a very strong link between um, skeletal alveolar bone deficiencies, uh, gingival recession, malocclusion, and uh, mouse breathing and sleep apnea. So I'm very excited to share this at the Academy annual meeting. I think this is a very important uh, topic uh, and for the future of periodontal profession, for the future of uh, interdisciplinary treatment and uh, management uh, patients with malocclusion, with uh, periodontal deficiencies. And I think uh, every periodontist today that is taking CBCT images in their practice that is uh, working together with the orthodontist needs to know uh, what uh, sleep apnea is and how uh, it impacts uh, their treatment diagnosis even for not only for periodontal patients but also for the implant planning. Uh, so I think it will be important uh, new topic uh, for every periodontist to learn and uh, possibly implement it in their practice. I'll see you in Boston.